Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. I need a better way to store my whisky, so I'm going to make a rack for it which will store it and also display it. So let's get started. It's getting to that time of year when it's getting colder and the nights are getting longer and after a hard day in the workshop fiddling about pretending to do stuff, there's nothing nicer than sitting down with a nice whisky. I've been developing a bit of a collection, but there seems to be a problem with the ones I have. The liquid seems to evaporate out of them. Well, that's the only explanation I can come up with. The wood I'm using for this is actually some old pub benches. I suppose it goes with the alcohol theme, but it's not the nicest wood in the world. I like using real fame stuff, but it's always more work. I have to square it up on the table saw and then plane it down, but after these stages, it did look a lot better. I could have knocked this together in no time, just driving a few screws in to hold everything together. But sometimes it's more satisfying to try some joinery, and it's good to push yourself. You only ever learn new skills by actually doing it. And projects that are just for my own pleasure seem the perfect opportunity to try it. So to hold everything together in this, I'm using a housing joint. I don't think I made too much of a mess of it. I mean, I could use some better wood and some better chisels. What do they say about a bad workman always blaming his tools? The nice thing about this joint is if you've got all your measurements right and your cuts correct, then everything just slides together. And to my amazement, everything actually did. Well, a few pieces need a little persuasion with a rubber mallet, but I think tighter is always better than loose. I know every woodworker always says you can never have enough clamps, and for this it was really true. I really struggled with how many long ones I had. To keep with the reclaimed wood theme, for the back of this I'm just using some pallet slats. There's no fancy joinery involved putting these together, just some glue and then some nails. I very rarely nail anything together these days, apart from using the brad nailer. And it might sound strange, but I've forgotten how deeply satisfying it was to drive in nails by hand. I'm clearly entertained by simple things. After all the wood had been planed and sanded down, it was quite a light pine colour. As the rat was going to hold some aged malt whiskies, I wanted it to give it a bit more of a vintage look. I applied some oak stain to darken the wood up. The stain was dry, I applied some brown wax. I really like using the wax, as when it's had a bit of time to dry, you can buff it up to a really nice shine. The bottles can't just sit on the shelves, they're going to need to be secured in some way. I can't have my precious whiskey falling off. So in the spirit of some more upcycling, I've found some copper pipe that some contractors left. And I will use it to make some rails to hold the bottles in place. The copper pipe is pretty soft and very easy to work with, so I managed to flatten the ends just using the vise. Then I can put it back in the vise and give it a 90 degree bend in one direction. Then reposition it in the vise and give it another 90 degree bend in another direction to make a little tap to screw up to the rack. The tabs just need holes put in them for screws to go through. And any burrs or rough edges just get a little clean off with some emery cloth. Now the rails can just be positioned and screwed in place. I realised I didn't have to go out and purchase any products for making this, which leaves me more money to buy another bottle of scotch. Lucky I left room on the shelf to expand my collection. That's it all done. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.